Rohit Mansarat and Sanjeev Naik re-elected as mayor and deputy mayor of Corporation of City of Panjim respectively as the election to elect the new mayor and his deputy was held on Thursday. Mansarat was declared elected for the third consecutive year while Nayak was re-elected for the second time. Since there were no other contestants, the duo were declared elected unopposed after scrutiny of their nominations. What we are going to do, this year will be a continuation of uh, what we had done last year. For example, now uh, with each for example, say take the market uh, issue for example. Now that live-in that live-in license agreement was changed to a lease agreement. Now that is pending with uh, under Secretary of Law. So we want to get that. Uh, so we want to get that uh, passed and have it approved by the government so that we can approach the market uh, committee members to sign the lease agreement. So that will uh, help us basically with our uh, revenue issues. So that issue has been pending now for 20 years. So once that agreement is signed, then we can uh, put uh, pressure on the market committee people to actually sign the agreement. So that is one thing we want to do. Another is the national theatre issue also. That also we need to uh, continue. We have to appoint a new uh, state officer. So that also will be in process. So that we hope to achieve by uh, this year also. Smart city works will continue to go on. G20 also will continue to go on. And in the end, will be our regular, our regular function. We want to smoothen the function of the functioning of the CCP. Make sure we are. Uh, all the issues that uh, people currently face are also uh, sorted. How are you getting deeper as far as the yeah. system is concerned? Because if you go to see smart city works and all, uh, everybody is saying that the CCP is sure to face uh, problems with the various issues. No, the CCP will we will uh, face issues also now, I'll be honest, because so of. Are also, uh, we will. It's true. We will face problems also. But that's what, so. We are now all the contractors. For example, in for example, in uh, in Santinis, where Bakia and everything have uh, broken open the roads. All those drains are filled. Now we are expecting any contractor who has done work in the city and who has uh, damaged our drains or who has clogged our drains. We expect them to utilize their labor also in addition to our own labor to help us. The city department has promised us a hundred labors from their contract to help clear the drains and everything, which we will. Uh, which they will do for us. So as the contractors also are responsible for uh, clogging our drains and baking our drains, we expect them to get all of the work done. So we'll be putting pressure on them also to help us. Uh, so the other day you said that you are losing patient because smart city works are continuously going on and it is never ending. Mm. You, sir, uh, do you feel that uh, the CCP officials should give control back to the CCP? No, that is not a decision of uh, the CCP in any way also. No, no. So you are one of the members. See, I'm a member of the board. The main person on the board is chief secretary who makes all the decisions and everything. It is not us who make uh, day to day. See, we go there to basically approve funding. There is no major decision that is uh, thing to approve projects. That's about it. No, but don't you think that like how we are certain CCP should also play? See, CCP. people blame you. I understand also. No, that is that is the most frustrating part also because now every work has been tendered out to a different agency. The sewage, uh, the sewage network is done by sewage department. Everything, uh, the roads are being done by Jusuda. Uh, Smart cities has their own uh, contractors and everything. So the CCP has no power over any of these people. Also, the most we can do is write letters to the to the Smart City, which we've been doing, telling them to speed up the work, to take care, and everything like that. But unless these departments also put pressure on their engineers and force them to do their jobs. I think it's going to think. But how would you overcome that when you say CCP has no powers and people are just... But that is what I'm saying. No, that is, a, but that is something that I cannot help also now. No. See, we are doing regular inspections. We are putting pressure on the engineers every single day also now. So it's frustrating on our part also, no? When people blame us for something that we have not done. See, I understand we are caretakers of the city also. But if we don't have the powers to enforce, that is another issue that we face also. How are you taking uh, precautions as far as rain is concerned? Have any uh, plan outlined and all over that or something? See, that's what I've said. See, we've, we've spoken to the contractors also now, like the sewage department, for example. Now, when their work stops, we have told them that we want all of their labor. So, they have promised us 100 labor, the Lexi department. So, now, through their existing work that they are doing. Now, like that, we expect every single department to help and contribute, especially if they've done work in the city and they've damaged anything or they've clogged our drains. It is also their responsibility. Because the moment, our, see, our, uh, our desilting work starts in uh, December, Jan. The problem is with all of the smart city work, my people cannot do their jobs also, no? Because if they clean the drain one day and you come and break the ring and dig it again, I'm supposed to keep clearing, it doesn't make sense also. So we expect all these departments to help. So we are hearing about this pending market lease agreement and all this happening. There was a living lease. This is the only time that uh, this uh, that uh, we've instituted a lease agreement. This is not done before. Now we had, we were talking with all the vendors. And the vendors said they were not in favor for lease agreement. That was pushed on, uh, that was forced on uh, to the, the living license. So after consultation with them, 
they have agreed to a lease license so we have been cooperative with them and after that they stopped cooperating with us so now there is i think the time for talking is like over once a lease agreement is uh, thing we will force them to sign it there is no because we have losing 25 or 30 crores from the market which is not a small amount it's a huge amount and that in addition to another 35 crores we have outstanding uh, in the market also is massive there's 70 crores in outstanding money So government buildings are not with us. We cannot do anything. No, those will come under JAD or their respective departments. That we cannot do anything about. And how has been the last year for you? Uh, in the last one year for you, how it has been for you? Good, bad, what is it? No, it's been good. Learning process. Realized a lot of things also. It's nice. <laughs> See all the work that we are doing right now now is to alleviate the flooding. But the problem is now if our projects are not over, you cannot expect the flooding to end also, right? It will be a continuation now used to happen on the previous years. It Panjim has flooded for a while, but now at least now through Smart City and all we are making efforts to make sure it doesn't. So when we had an inspection with the chief minister also. We had instructed all of the departments to make sure that all the drains are connected, whatever else is needs to be done, the outlets need to be cleared, whatever is not taken part of, whatever is not part of Smart City, that should be connected to the uh, to the river. So until your work is over, you cannot expect the situation to get better, right? So now you have to wait for the work to get over. Once that is done, then uh, we should see some sort of improvement in the. Uh,